Hello, and welcome to a video tutorial on the Zimmer Universal Power System. This product is a system utilized for resection in large bone procedures and some trauma procedures. The Universal Power System offers three choices for powering the equipment. In most cases, the use of sterilizable or aseptic batteries are the user's choice. However, the Universal Power System can also be utilized with an electric console or with pneumatic air. A key design element of the Universal Power System is its modularity, meaning that a single handpiece can accomplish the required application of sawing, drilling, or reaming during a procedure. To accomplish the goal of modularity, the Zimmer Universal Power System utilizes individual accessories for each potential application. In this video, we will review the recommended methods for adding and removing both the batteries and the accessories before and during the procedure. To improve efficiency during pre-op set, it is best to make sure that all of the items needed for the case are present, including the appropriate saw blades. Open the sterilization case for the universal power system and follow facility protocol to ensure sterility of the set. Remove the lift out tray and set it within the sterile field, making sure that all components stay in the tray during the transfer. Check to make sure that all of the attachments that are needed for the procedure are in the tray. You will need three components when utilizing the aseptic battery option to power the universal power system, including the red aseptic battery, the sterile battery housing, and the sterile transfer sleeve, both contained within the sterilization case. The scrub should remove the battery housing from the sterile tray and ensure that the door is fully open and in an unlocked position. The scrub should remove the transfer sleeve from the sterile tray. Hold the battery housing in your hand so that the open door of the battery housing is facing the scrub. Hold the transfer sleeve so that the opening of the sleeve is pointing down and the long part of the sleeve is oriented closest to the scrub. Place the front of the sterile sleeve into the battery housing, paying close attention to the ridge that seats the sleeve upon the housing. Drop the back of the sleeve into position slowly and ensure that the connection is secure all the way around the battery housing. The scrub should hold the battery housing with the connected sleeve in both hands and present it to the circulator with the door and the high part of the sleeve positioned closest to the scrub. The circulator should hold the aseptic battery by the wire grasp point on the battery and allow the battery to hang freely. Being very careful to not touch the scrub or the battery housing, the circulator should drop the battery into the housing from the top. The circulator should release the wire grass point and make sure that it is pointing toward the scrub within the housing. The circulator should use two fingers and push down on the battery to ensure that it is locked into position. You will be able to hear and feel the battery click into place. Once the battery is positioned, the circulator should grasp the top of the transfer sleeve and pull towards themselves, removing the sleeve from the battery housing. The circulator should place the transfer sleeve outside of the sterile field. The scrub should push the door of the battery housing closed. Ensure that the door is completely closed, then lock the door into place by turning the locking mechanism to the locked position. Whether using the sterilizable battery or the aseptic battery, the steps to attach the battery to the handpiece are identical. The batteries attach from the back of the handpiece. This was designed so that if a battery is ever not fully attached, the likelihood of the battery falling off the handpiece is minimized. Start by setting the battery on the sterile table with the front of the battery pointing away from you. If you are right hand dominant, grasp the battery with your left hand, placing your thumb behind the battery and your fingers across the front of the battery to hold it in place. Grasp the handpiece by the handle as if you are holding it for normal operation. Place the handpiece in front of the battery so the bottom of the handpiece is resting on top of the battery. Using a slightly upward motion, pull back on the handpiece to engage the connection opening to the battery connection tracks. Continue to pull back until you hear an audible click. The battery is now locked into place. Ensure that the connection has been made by pulling on the trigger of the handpiece and listening for the motor to engage. If the motor engages, place the handpiece on the sterile field and continue with prep for the procedure. If the motor does not engage, be sure to check that the safety switch is not in the neutral position. When the procedure is completed, you will be required to remove the batteries from the universal power system before removing the set. To remove both the sterilizable and the aseptic batteries from the handpiece, you will follow the same procedure. If you are right hand dominant, hold the handpiece in your right hand just as if you were going to use the handpiece. 
Rotate your arm position so that the nose of the handpiece is pointing to your left. Using your left hand, place your thumb on the detachment lever that is facing you. Place your index finger on the detachment lever on the opposite side of the handpiece. Make sure that the palm of your left hand is cupping the front of the battery, as you will use this portion of your hand to push the battery. With fingers in place, pinch the detachment levers simultaneously. Using the palm of your left hand, begin to push in a left to right motion on a slightly upward path. It is important to note that the batteries attach on a slight angle, so during the removal process, make sure to utilize a slightly upward path when pushing left to right. Once the battery loosens, you may take the battery off of the handpiece using your right hand and place it in the proper receptacle for transport, cleaning, and sterilization. For those that are using the aseptic battery, you will need to follow a few additional steps. After the battery housing has been removed from the handpiece, turn the battery housing locking mechanism to the unlocked position. Open the housing door and pull the battery toward you by grasping the wire hook. Place the battery in the appropriate receptacle for transport, cleaning, and charging. Place the housing into the appropriate slot in the lift out tray, making sure that the door is in an open position. Remove the oscillating saw attachment from the lift out tray and open the blade housing. To open the housing, Grasp the turning knob on the bottom of the attachment and turn counterclockwise until the top mechanism is completely open. Open the blade using sterile technique as defined by facility protocol. If you are right hand dominant, grasp the blade in your right hand and orient the tip away from yourself with the depth markings facing upward. Holding the oscillating attachment in your left hand, place the blade into the housing, ensuring that the hub is seated over the teeth of the attachment. Using your thumb, push down on the top of the housing so that it pinches the blade into place. While holding down the top of the housing, use your other hand to grasp and turn the closing knob until it locks into position. The blade is now ready for use. Remove the reciprocating saw attachment from the lift out tray. Open the blade using sterile technique as defined by facility protocol. If you are right hand dominant, grasp the blade in your right hand with the hub oriented toward yourself. With your left hand, place your thumb and index finger on the end of the reciprocating attachment. Rotate the end of the attachment one quarter turn counterclockwise. While holding the reciprocating attachment open, slide the blade hub into the slot. Once the blade seats, release the hub. It will automatically return to the closed position. Ensure that the blade is seated in the reciprocating attachment by gently tugging forward on the blade. If the blade stays in place, it is locked into the attachment and is ready for use. As discussed at the beginning of the video, the Universal Power System is a modular system, meaning that a single handpiece can accomplish all of the large bone attachment procedural applications. Therefore, the attachment and removal of all of the attachments follows the same procedure. Place your handpiece on the sterile table, orienting it in the position of your choice. The handpiece can sit up on the battery or can be laid back on the barrel. If you are right hand dominant, hold the handpiece from the top in your left hand. Typically, it is best to have the handpiece on an angle so that the open nose of the handpiece is visible. Grasp the attachment in your right hand and slide it into the nose of the handpiece, ensuring that it is oriented in the correct position. Align the teeth of the handpiece and the attachment so that they fill the gaps when pushed together. Push the attachment into place. You will hear an audible click when the attachment locks into place. To ensure that the attachment is in place, pull the trigger of the handpiece and make sure that the attachment engages as appropriate. Note that when using the oscillating or reciprocating handpiece, that it is important to make sure that the blade is oriented in the position desired by the surgeon. With your hand placed over the top of the barrel, place your thumb and index finger on the detachment levers on either side of the barrel. Pinch the levers and hold them in that position. With your right hand, grasp the attachment and pull away from the handpiece. If you have additional questions regarding the use of the Zimmer Universal Power System, please contact your local sales representative. Thank you for your continued support of Zimmer and our family of products.